Hi, I'm Ryan Reed, Chief Pilot for True Blue Power. We're here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, speaking with R1 Airlines. I'm going to talk to Captain Jeff Trider about True Blue Power lithium ion batteries and how they're performing in their Dash 8 fleet. Hi, Jeff. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good to see you. Good. Hey, uh, so tell me a little bit more about R1 Airlines. Well, R1 Airlines, uh, we operate a large fleet of privately operated Dash 8s domestically and internationally. Our model is boundless, and we try to give our clients exactly that going anywhere, anytime they desire. And what about your experience and hours in this aircraft? Well, my experience with uh, these Dash 8s, I have just over 3,000 hours of total time on them, and I've operated them from the uh, high Arctic in Canada to southern domestic airspace within Canada and the United States. So that's quite a bit of experience. Well, uh, tell me about the first time that you hopped in the aircraft, you uh, had the lithium-ion batteries, and you spooled up one of these engines, and uh, how did that compare to the lead acid? The, uh, the first time I started one of these engines on the uh, True Blue Power lithium ion battery, I was quite surprised at the uh, safe and cool temperature start I was able to get. You know, that compared to a classic lead acid or NICAD battery that I've used before. Uh, my peers on the Dash 8 uh, would typically try and avoid starting the aircraft's engines on battery power alone just because of the fact that we weren't always guaranteed to get such a start like we do with the True Blue Power batteries. So in some of these smaller airports and runways that you're able to get into now, tell me about some of the ground support equipment that is required. Well, our clients demand a lot of variety from us where we do go, and we can't always be relying on going to a major hub that does have a lot of ground support staff available. Um, having the ability to have no ground equipment or personnel required because of the reliability of these True Blue Power batteries has definitely given us a leg up on the competition because we're now able to go into airports uh, that we can operate this airplane standalone. Jeff, from a pilot's perspective, how have these lithium batteries changed your operation and maybe routing? Well, from my perspective, it gives the pilot just another tool in his bag to be able to turn this aircraft around very rapidly on the ground. We're able to go into smaller airports and reliably and safely start these engines on battery power with a quick turnaround and pretty much giving us uh, any requirement we need for our client's requests. Can we uh, go check out the batteries in the battery compartment? Absolutely. So here, Ryan, is the location of our battery compartment on the Dash 8 and the TB44 batteries. So as pilots, we learn early on the importance of weight and balance and center of gravity. How have these batteries improved or changed your useful load? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, these TB44 batteries are significantly lighter than our predecessors, and that, as pilots, gives us an option to have more flexibility with our center of gravity and weight and balance calculations. Uh, previously with the old uh, batteries we would have to sometimes move passengers uh, further aft and or carry ballast and with a lighter load in the nose now we're uh, having a, a lot easier time keeping passengers in their original seats and not necessarily having to uh, take ballast to counteract the center of gravity of the aircraft. It certainly gets cold out here in Canada especially I bet in the northern territories. Uh, how does that affect your operations with this battery? Yeah, here in Canada, we're constantly dealing with colder temperatures in the winter, and it uh, is nice with these TB44 batteries where we have uh, several ways in which we can actually warm them up. Uh, previously, we would have as pilots sometimes to even physically remove the battery from the aircraft and bring it inside overnight and or plug the battery in. Uh, with these new batteries, we're given the option to heat them on our pre-flight inspection and or do it from the cockpit as well. Next, we'll be talking to David Moody about maintenance support. Tell us a little bit about your experience as a pilot and with maintenance. Well, as a maintenance engineer, I've got uh, nearly 20 years of experience working on various types of aircraft. Uh, Dash 8 being the key uh, airplane that I've worked on. And I've worked in all across Western Canada throughout uh, the, up into the Northern Arctic. And I see the true advantage of what the, the lithium ion battery offers us here at Regional One. How does the maintenance compare on the lithium ion batteries to the lead acid or NICAD batteries? Well, gladly there's very little maintenance to do with the uh, True Blue batteries. The comparison between the two is uh, for a lead acid or NICAD battery, you would have to physically take the batteries out of the aircraft every six months to do a capacity check or a voltage check on it, uh, using up two maintenance staff to do so. Uh, with the True Blue battery, it stays on board and we can do a capacity check every 24 months while the battery is still on board the aircraft. And this is a smart battery. It can communicate to the crew through the cannon plug here or a button here that you can push in the event you need to heat the battery up. The cannon plug can physically be attached to a laptop so you can go in and see the status of each cell. It's truly a great upgrade to this aircraft. 
We're back up in the cockpit with Jeff in the Dash 8, and we're going to take a look at the uh, enunciations and how they work with our battery. Jeff, where are we looking for the enunciators that talk to the battery? So in this particular setup, we have uh, two aircraft control units, or ACUs, that we have located right here. Uh, two battery status panels that will give us a test function, our heating options, and also our fault detection. And what do those enunciations look like? Quite simply, we just have to hit the only button on the panel, which will illuminate four enunciators, a uh, light-up aux battery, give us a temperature fault, uh, amber fault, and also a heating light to ensure that the uh, button and the system is working properly. So since there's a main battery, an aux battery, what does that give you for possible emergency power? The TB44 batteries uh, give us greater power than the NICAD or lead acid batteries would, which would mean we have longer time to run aircraft systems solely on battery power if we needed. It's been a great day today at R1 Airlines. You know, I was talking to the pilots, Captain Moody and Captain Trider, and they were telling me about how they've actually not started these engines three times in a row before. So it's a true testament to some of the things that we've been talking about today. If you'd like to learn more about True Blue Power Lithium Ion Batteries, contact a True Blue Power representative, or check out our website at www.truebluepowerusa.com.